the centurion, please? The Festival of Digital Creativity is a full week of events and is part of a larger scale project run by the East NDC Consortium, which is a network of 14 different institutions in Europe celebrating arts, science, technology in the context of what we call digital creativity. I'm not really familiar with this one, but you can, uh, you can create sounds uh, with others and to play the sound together. And send it to each other and then it will just like an email and oh this is the first festival to kind of kick off the program to kick off the whole research grant with this gathering here in Manchester with presentations from partner institutions, panel discussions, concerts, workshops, demonstrations. It's an opportunity for us to share our work, an opportunity for different project partners and, for example, their, their postgraduate students to discover ways of collaborating together and of maybe creating new research projects. This is like a spring and this is the fader and I'm pushing it with, with, the, with my hand, and I, I feel the, you know, you can see that it behaves like, like a spring. We don't discuss so much the nature of the technology, we just try to find what is really, creatively speaking, new and emerging and what has been done in the past and what sort of things we can contribute to existing knowledge. New technologies that come from different fields like gaming and that become tools for composition. I, I don't think I've seen that before in the last 20 years, so it's a really exciting time for, to be working with these technologies. I know we've had a lot of our recent students that have come through here and studied composition and using music technology as part of their research have gone on to develop their own companies. So they're drawing upon the tools and the techniques and the media that they're working with. This is actually the, the, the place I'm working on for my demo. It's a plaza in, in Marbella in South Spain. I had to model the whole plaza in 3D using Blender. So I'm presenting a work called Maya, which is a a mixed reality um, framework that enables people to create digital content that can be experienced both in virtual reality and augmented reality. So anyone visiting the virtual place can add a sound, for example, to the fountain or have a text message which will be floating over the bench. Uh, any message that was left in the virtual environment will be shown on, on the AR application and they can experience the, the same content at the same time. Uh, yeah, being a resident within the East NDC uh, network is a great personal opportunity to have some continuity on my research because of, of the nature of my project. We are expecting to, to demonstrate this Maya system in other places. I'm just a, a, a tool fac facilitator. I want to facilitate uh, tools for people and uh, to create their own digital content and make, be creative. Thank you. 
think the technology can actually help to engage the public in very unique ways, especially people that maybe haven't heard the kind of music that, that we do, electroacoustic music, and in a concert situation, um, creating surround sound, an immersive sound. One of, which is one of the reasons why I like physical faders. You know, some people use touch sensitive things and touch, touch sensitive screens and other interfaces, which work well, but I actually like the physical requirement of actually moving over. the fader because yeah, yeah. you know, you, your body gets into it in relation to the sound and the music too. You start to think of it as, as, a, you know, as, a, as an instrument. But, you know, actually when I've done concerts and I've had invited people to the concerts and I know it's their first time at an electroacoustic concert event, one of the first things they say to me afterwards is, ah, oh, it was so interesting the, the way that the sound was coming around me. And, you know, they're not so much talking about the materials or the musical language, but it's the, the spatial experience. Oh, gosh, it's dark. Sí, entre nosotros mismos como cultura, entre mexicanos nos discriminamos. I want to use technology and art to deliver the message to the society that we need to be kind to ourselves. The situation in Mexico is sometimes we discriminate people of darker skin. I think it's a problem, we all have accepted it, nobody talks about it. So I have interviewed Mexicans and now I put that in a multi-channel format that will be heard like in 3D yeah. so people really will experience the, the concept. Todos podemos ser bonitos. Que sean felices consigo mismo. Todos tenemos un cerebro, un corazón. No es cuestión ni de piel, ni de raza. Es mucha cuestión de pensamiento, ¿no? Al final de cuentas tú naces en cero y en esta vida te vas formando. So one of the things we were really keen to push in, as part of this festival is to close this gap between academia and the creative industries. Our students, our postgrads, uh, music students, it's a great opportunity for them because we've got people from the industry saying we are looking for creative people to collaborate with us. It's the why, it's the who cares question from your research and everybody cares actually. If you're doing research, there is an audience that is interested in learning more about your research in the private sector, but it's how you communicate that. So one role of art is to make beautiful and interesting things and uh, for me another role of art is to sort of question the world and look at the world in a different way. Um, and artists have been utilizing technology and influencing technology ever since <laughs> I would say the beginning of time. So we're sort of looking at the world and seeing how things are going and we're interacting with the new things that are shaping society and shaping culture. Um, and so right now that's definitely software, that's definitely technology, electronics. And so we as artists want to utilize these tools because we want to engage what's going on and what's going on into the future. I have augmentations to my voice, uh, to my arm, but there should always be some way that I can screw up. And right, if, like if things happen or don't work or I need help, that's part of the performance. We're sort of a group of institutions and schools that are all 
doing things in a similar uh, realm. You know, I mean, it's always interesting to hang out with people that are doing kind of the same thing, but doing it their own way. Go!